The TI Inspire makes binomial probabilities so incredibly easy. I've got a really great shortcut for you at the end, so be sure and stick around for that. We are gonna get started with this first one. So we're gonna spin this spinner 20 times. What is the probability that we land on yellow exactly six times? Now there's some important information that we need for the calculator. Now, first of all, we need to define what a success is. A success is gonna be landing on yellow. We also need to know how many trials there are. There are 20 of these trials, 20 spins, and we need to know the probability of a success. That's the probability of landing on a yellow. There is one one yellow out of those four colors. So P is equal to one fourth. Finally, for the calculator, we need to know the number of successes and we wanna know exactly six times. So the number of successes is equal to six. Let's bring our calculator up. To get to that screen that I showed you, we're just gonna go right into a scratch pad. I've got A selected here, so I'm gonna hit enter and I wanna go into the menu. I am looking for a distribution. So scrolling down here under statistics, so if I go ahead and right arrow, I see that distributions are there number five. So you can either arrow down to number five or you can just hit the number five. And then it says, okay, which distribution do you want? And it's all the way down here at letter A. I'm gonna continue continue scrolling down a little bit though so that you can see both of them. So I've got the binomial PDF, binomial probability distribution, and I also have the binomial CDF, which is a cumulative distribution. We're gonna do the PDF first. Let's choose that and hit enter. It wants to know the information that we just figured out. Okay, so the number of trials, that is 20, and then you can either arrow down or tab. Probability of a success, that is one out of four. You can also do 0.25 here. Again, tab or arrow down. Down, and then the X value is the number of successes and that is equal to six. I'm gonna tab down to okay and then hit enter. So it gives me this probability 0 0.16809, which is gonna be about 16.9%. Let's move on to question number two. Now this is gonna bring up some additional skills for you. We wanna land on yellow between four and six times. Now we still have the same number of trials and the same probability of getting a yellow, which is one out of four, but this time we want the probability between four and six. That would be the probability of getting a four, a five, or a six. Let's go back to that calculator. I'm gonna do that binomial PDF one more time. And to get there, we go menu, and then we're arrowing down to statistics, which is number six. We want distributions, which is number five, and we want that binomial PDF. I'm gonna show you this one first, and then we'll do the CDF second. Okay, so binomial PDF, let's um, hit enter, and then it's gonna ask me all those same things again. So yes, there are still 20 trials, tab, probability of a success, still landing on yellow is a one out of four chance. And then notice how on the X value, it actually says, optional. I'm going to leave it off this time and then tap down one more time and choose OK. So what this list has given me is the probability. This first number here is the probability of getting zero yellows, the probability of one, two, three. So if I arrow up, I'm just going to back arrow here, then I can find the probability of four. This is zero, one, two, three three, and the next number is gonna be four. And then I can add that to the probability of five and then add that to the probability of six. Not the easiest way to go. So instead we're gonna do the binomial CDF, C for cumulative or a group of possible successes. So to do the CDF, we're gonna to go to exactly the same place that we were before. So let me arrow down so I'm in an empty spot there. I'm gonna to go to menu and then statistics, which is number six, and then distributions, which is number five. This time I want letter B, which is binomial CDF. Let's hit enter to choose that. And it gives me a few more options. So the number of trials is still 20. And then arrowing down, the probability of landing on a yellow in one spin is still one out of four. And now if I arrow down, it wants to know the lower bound. Well, remember this is between four and six. So my lower bound is four and my upper bound is six. So it's gonna add those three probabilities together for me. And then I can hit enter and I end up with a probability of 0.5606 or about 56.06%. Next, we wanna look at the probabilities of at most and at least, and I find that these tend to be the most challenging for my students. 
Let's make these easy with the TI Inspire. Number three is the probability of getting yellow with these 20 spins at least four times. So if we think about that, at least four would be four or five or six or seven or eight, dot, 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 all the way up to 20. So it's gonna be four through 20. Similar to the last one, you could say between four and 20. So I'm gonna use my binomial CDF. So we've got menu number six, number five. Are you getting faster at this? And then I want that binomial CDF. You could type the letter B, but I'm just gonna go down here to B and then enter. And the number of trials is still the same. Arrow down, one fourth, still the same. Arrow down, my lower bound between four and 20 is gonna be four, arrow down to 20. So it's gonna add up all of those individual probabilities for me. Let's hit enter for okay, and we end up with 77.48, about 77.5%. The last one is at most five times. So five would be the highest number that we could get. So if you think about the possible number of yellows, we could get five or four or three or two or one or zero yellows. So when we think about this between what and what for that binomial CDF, we want between zero and five. Let me show you a shortcut. So we just did between four and 20. I'm gonna arrow up and I'm gonna grab that binomial CDF that we just did. I'm gonna hit enter once to get it there into my calculation screen and let's just change these numbers. I'm gonna change it to zero as the minimum and then I want, let's go ahead and back arrow and then I want five for the maximum. So much easier than going into all of your menus and then hit enter when you're ready for that calculation. The TI Inspire does so much more. I've got another video for you here.